I spent many years as a Big Six consultant. I, um, I did, my, did my time getting my MBA yes, and uh, spent about 10 years building big software systems. And uh, after watching the dot-coms go up mm. and go back down, I kind of got tired of doing things that didn't really have a purpose. The dream business model. I'm buying something that other people consider trash. I'm paying 10 cents for it, and I'm selling it to other people for 10 times that amount. And then it got to the point where somebody was really serious and said, let me see your financials. And I would say, well, you want to see my projections? No, I don't care about your projections. I want to see your financials. And I was like, well, but my projections say that we're going to make you know, $10 million in the next two years. And they go, whatever. Uh, your, first of all, your projections should be $50 million because they're all BS anyway, so you might as well say $50 million. <laughs> right? uh, I had built a business based on an idea that's a great idea, but I didn't know a damn thing about how to execute it. And think about it more, it's like, well, I'm helping companies like Boeing and AT&T execute their logistics systems. Why? It, it just made sense that I should know how to do it for myself. And I did. Here's a guy who was uh, had a bachelor's degree in business, worked for some of the largest, most successful companies in the world, um, went out on his own to be an entrepreneur, and not just failed, but failed miserably. Everybody's got ideas and ideas are useless and the people that tell you, oh, I'm going to be an entrepreneur because I got this great idea, I can't tell you about it because it's confidential, I laugh at those people. Nobody cares about your confidential ideas. Nobody wants your confidential ideas. Nobody cares about your confidential ideas. Nobody's going to steal your confidential ideas. Get over it. It's not about ideas. It's about execution. Opening up a pizza shop that sells a lot of pizzas and puts thousands of dollars in the pockets of the owner is vastly different than running California Pizza Kitchen that puts money in the pockets of the shareholders. How is it different? One's scalable, one's not. Scalability is growing with less, right? So you got your overhead, you got your revenue. Growth is more revenue. Well, how are we going to make more money? We're going to open up more retail stores. <laughs> and think about it. Well, if I'm losing $10,000 per retail store now, <laughs> how much money do you make when you have 10 of those stores? You lose a whole lot more money. So don't start a crappy business. Wait. Have a great business plan, a great model, a great team, and then knock it out of the park. Who cares about revenue? Revenue doesn't pay the bills. If you make a million dollars in revenue, but it costs you 1.1 to make it, it would have been better off that you just sat on your couch and watched TV. And seriously, it would have cost a lot less money and you wouldn't be in trouble, right? It's not about doing it the cheapest way possible. Raising money is not about the amount. It's about the return on investment. If you know there's a pearl or two in there, you can take the time to sift through all that sand and just look for that pearl and who cares what you do with the sand, right? Our company has been on ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN, Entrepreneur Magazine, Smart Money Magazine. I'm the guy that Walmart asked to come speak at their Green Expo. 9 o'clock is Walmart's Director of Sustainability, 10 o'clock is Dell Computer's Director of Sustainability, and 11 o'clock is me. So I gotta go on that. I gotta go on the fact that we're a good American-based technology company that's doing a good thing and people like it. Well, I think one of the great things that he said was, if I can scare you away from being an entrepreneur, then I will. Because if my story can scare you away, then you're not an entrepreneur. This, this route is not the route for you. The fact that he shared his personal life, it makes him more human and easier to identify with. What I really liked about Marty's talk was that he said, he didn't, he didn't presume that we all knew who he was. He didn't say, you know, this is who I am, I'm a great guy. Uh, he told us his story. 